Well, I'll start this video off with my, if the scenery looks a little different, that's because it is. We are at the family beach house right now. My most popular video on YouTube, something that completely baffles me, is a video about a weenie modern alarm clock. The video, since it was uploaded in June of 2020, it has commanded almost 3,000 views. It is the most popular video on my channel. And I figure, what the heck? If a weenie modern, um, if a weenie modern alarm clock gets that many views, and because older is always better, this is what we're going to be looking at today. <laughs> this is something that we've had here at the local beach or the family beach house for a very long time, and we're going to make a video about it. This is a realistic. Chronomatic 234 alarm clock and radio. That's right, it's a clock radio. Um, it's got FM, FM and AM channels. It has... Spider, I think we'll kill that. Um, there's your clock settings. You can, there's the time set button. You have to press both of these at the same time. Um, that's the radio button, I believe. There's your FM, AM selector, volume, tuning. There's actually a headphone jack on it, which I never actually noticed. I haven't really poked around with this much, but there is actually a headphone jack on it. And then you have a dimmer, which I assume controls this little display. We'll have to figure that one out. And on the back here, just in case it has more information about it, has a battery backup. The model number is 12 1541. Yep. Bought at Radio Shack, Fort Worth, Texas. Serial, serial number, uh, date code 8A4. I don't know if that means 1984 or what. Really, I, it certainly seems like it could be. Focus. But of course, I am, uh, I'm not very well versed in the way of alarm clocks and things like that. So, people who watch the video and might have a better idea than I do can share that information with me. Battery backup circuit requires 9 volt extra life battery, Radio Shack battery or equivalent. Yep. Do not expose it to moisture or what have you. Anyway, I've stalled long enough. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And again, because it hasn't been plugged in in a while, we're going to do. Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention there's another sticker. Simulated walnut grain finish. We're going to do something that, uh, focus. Maybe it'll focus in on the ceiling fan. That's what this thing's used to filming, so. There we go. We're going to do something that, uh, UXW Bill likes to do. We are going to have a good old-fashioned smoke test. Hopefully not literally. <laughs> So, UXW Bill fans like I am, smoke test. Okay. <clears throat> well, here's that lighting up. Let's see if I can set the time. I, actually, that clock is wrong too because I just turned the power on. Might film that one a little later. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of cool old ones around here. If I can get it set here. Uh oh. This thing may not be working. Certainly not responding. Alright, so strike one. <laughs> Can't do that. Radio's working. See if I can find some stations. 
Hopefully I won't get sued in Stone Age for this. You came to see me without plans? And that is a, is there a we go. clip from a man in Siberia, from a tiny village in the middle of absolutely nowhere in northern Siberia. And we see him at the beginning. All right. All right, well, you get the idea. I don't really care about anything that's off with you. Um, let's see. Let's see what this timer does. Okay, that is what it is. It, um, yeah, okay, that's what I thought too. Let's see if I can set the alarm. No, these these time buttons aren't working. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> um, let's see what else we can do with this. I think I'm gonna film that GE up over there in just a minute. Yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, I thought you all might like to see that. I'll go film the other one here in a minute and see what goes wrong when I do. <laughs> There you go. The Reliance or Reliance <laughs> Realistics Chronomatic 234 Pro Clock Radio. <laughs>